and the Twitch should be picking us up right about now. Hey everyone, it's me, Eric. Eight's here. Yo, what's good? Uh, we're finally streaming tonight, but it's gonna be a very small truncated stream because shit happens, and we're, I'm not playing. Instead, tonight Eight's taking the rain. This is his shit show tonight. Yeah, but it's, I think this is the first time we've ever done this. Where I no. played first. No, that was Miami Project Vice or whatever. Oh yeah, gun deck. Aww. Anyways, we're finally starting off something Eights wanted to do for a while because I was too fucking sapped of energy to do Incredible Crisis. This is Fist of the North Star. You already know what it is. It's a legend. No, what's the proper name, you dingle? Hokuto no Ken. <sighs> Hokuto no Ken Seishi Matsu... Seki Matsukyu Seshi Densetsu. Oh, you meant that one. Okay, sorry. If this looks meant... vaguely familiar to the... If that... Oh, that's how late it is. I'm stuttering even harder. Uh, you might know this as that one Fist of the North Star game with all those funny, weird glitches. It's neat. The game's fun. I like it a lot. Uh, I played it a while back, and honestly, I, I'm glad I'm able to return to it. Oh, wait. Quick, quick moment. Rich. Frosty. Shut up. I mean, don't... Play nice, damn it. Now, regardless... Yeah, I've never really seen this... It. Sorry, I meant to say play nice. Anyways, I've never seen this in actual gameplay. I've only seen the fucking funny videos. It's great. The aesthetic is awesome. The music is great. They tried their best to recreate the energy. Everybody from... Everybody... So this... Uh, everybody from the cast. Akira mm. Kamiya and Kaneto Shiazawa, my favorites. Are, Was this are, his uh, last role as Kenshiro? Because I know Akira had to stop eventually. Maybe, I'm not sure. Wow, look at that art it, from fucking... No, wait, that's like the... That is the one art of Can You See Everywhere for like the 2000s. Like, it took it from a style guide, you know what I mean? Yeah, but also... Uh, this came out like right at the cusp of the new century. Yeah, this was uh, Kaneda Shiazawa hadn't uh, hadn't even done the hadn't even done work for Rival Schools and uh, Guilty Gear X at, uh, at that point yet. Wait, what? Well, yeah, he was the voice of Hio in Rival Schools. Oh, uh, Zato in Guilty Gear up until X. Also, you like how the, uh, the icon? Let me put out. Let me just see the volume. Real quick. You like how Kenshiro stumbles are used to Okay, let me just put that down. Okay. Sorry, it looked like the audio was being picked up by the OBS. Oh. Alright, so as I was saying, you like how the cursor was Kenshiro's thumbs as he does that one trick? Yeah. It's great. This game is so fucking good. Can't, sk uh, can't skip the cutscene. That's the only downside of this game. It's the oh, only right. fucking downside. Good. Wait, damn it, I closed up my timer. So this is the yeah, same OST. What were we saying? So this is the same OST from the anime, right? No, not exactly. Oh, so they can have oh they afforded they wasted their mo music money on fucking uh no, you'll know what they wasted the money on. <laughs> they wasted the money on the voice actors and the opening song. And the uh I, I love the art style, it's like a, a like, I feel like it's a more refined version of the, like, the Mega Man Legends art style for the PS1. I love you, Shigeru Chi, but I think that's him. Yeah, it's him. Basically, he's going, shit's fucked, guys! Oni Hige, Joggy, I'm gonna make, himself. I'm gonna, make so many I'm gonna make so many fucking references to Double the North Star in this. Never seen it, so I'm not gonna get it. Like, how you tried <laughs> to skip past fucking, uh... Trailer park jokes to me. Tra trailer park boy references. Oh, I've been slip I've been slipping in trailer park fucking a while, and you. Up. You really thought you were gonna get away with that, huh? I really did, and to be honest, you haven't. Even I'm like five episodes in. <laughs> There's so many references I've been pulling in there. But yeah, look at these guys. I feel like they fit the like the energy of the original manga anime really, really well. Look at this man's beefy body. They're all polygonal and fucking best possible. 
feels like the like the animators had like really a lot of fun just messing around with these guys like like it was Gary's mod because of the shit they do with the models. Yeah, I can see it kind of. So I found this video, this uh, game actually through a video by a guy named Hypervid Hero. The guy's pretty cool. I'm... <laughs> All right, so um, let's see it. All right, so here's how gameplay basically works. You just move. Yeah, you, you do your thing. You got punches. You got jumps. And you got a kick. And it's a dedicated launcher too. Yep. He has a basic combo set up for that. He has a dashing kick, a dashing punch. Yeah, unfortunately, Hyperbit Hero, you know, he's too caught up in, you know, no, no, he's not caught up in anything. He's a busy guy doing his. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Wow, you beat, you messed it up. You Shoot, didn't keep no, the rhythm. Kinshiro oh, yeah, has I half an eye to slap you for that. Oh, yeah, I forgot my, my, my problem with. Sometimes. It will uh, randomly do uh, inputs without my say so. That doesn't seem good. No, it doesn't, but it works. Let's see, I forgot. Does he have a block? Oh, yeah, see, now it's doing random inputs. Oh, that's not good. So this wasn't a budget game, was it? Uh, you know, I can't really tell. Like, there's a lot of things that are clearly like, oh, gotta move along. But like, the art style and the way all the characters are Animated. moving and the things they do, it doesn't, I, I don't think that's the case. Ah, uh, there's the boy. There he is, there's Zed. I unfortunately will fuck up some of the quits. There on is, there's the mean control. man. But that, that's just how it is. Yeah, he's, there's the legendary me. Well, one half of the legendary me, to be fair. Fair enough. But he's the one who says the nanny. Well, yeah, it's half of that, but the other half is Kenshiro saying you're already dead. Oh my lord. I'm so glad that became as popular as it did for that. The Glass Joe of HNK. I don't know about that. Should he we mention that, that he doesn't actually say it that often in the manga? No, yeah, he really doesn't. It's only the end a lot. And there's another thing I was gonna mention. Uh, I'll, I think I'll save it for later. Oh, there's that one. But I'll just say, like, they have some weird, like, there's some re weird rules with Kenshiro and how you have to portray him and stuff nowadays. You know, that's understandable. Uh, actually, when the anime was was coming out, uh, Tetsuo Ohara and his, and his boy, Bronson, were like, had to really clamp down on the anime because because what they had to start doing some shit because because they went and I, not this isn't verbatim but he basically goes all right look so this show is this story is wacky and kind of fucking batshit insane but it will never go that batshit and they were like pointing at stuff in the in the anime like uh fucking the tank yeah the tank that the shoots cannon the guy <laughs> That shoots people out with claws. I think they had claws, but yeah. Maybe they take was... these people out. And they were like, yeah, no, 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 no. Wasn't there also some guy whose whole shtick was like, he was like a Roman emperor or something? A Roman what now? Roman emperor. No, that, that, shit kinda, that kind of shit happens all the time in Ken. I know. Wait, wasn't there like a train too or something? Yeah, there's a train. It was a train fucking... Uh, it was a fucking train that shot people out of a cannon. At least I think that's how it was set up. Regardless, the, 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 both the boys said, alright, you gotta fuck. We've already, we've, all of us have already seen the first episode of Business Star. And manga, assumably, so, you know. Not all of it, but just enough to, to understand where, what the fuck these guys are saying, even though this hasn't been. Yeah, there he is. There's Akira Kami. Actually, hmm. 
Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think Zed came back for, or Zed's voice actor from the original uh, episode he appeared in is is in this. Because I heard his voice earlier, really, and I'm like, mm. There, now you can speak. I don't think Ken had gloves uh, in the in the anime in the first no, episode. No, he didn't. He just yeah, had the it, arm bracelet and the wraps. He also did not have both shoulder pads. That was something that came about later. The movie did that. The, I think in the manga he only had one shoulder pad. How do you feel about that? I always liked when he had the one, like Mad Max. I kind of prefer the one. Yeah, me too. Not that double shoulder pads are bad. It's just, you know, it's just the, that's just how it is. I, you know, I I also enjoyed the movie that came out after, like, I think it was before or after the anime. I can't remember. Uh, no, before or during the anime. But, like, the only thing I don't like about that anime is he's fucking incredible. Why would you not want Toki? I'm sure they had got to him at that point. You know, now that I think about it, that might... Jojo, I think Jojo maybe referenced Star Platinum breaking out of jail. Probably. It's too close not to be. Considering. Yeah, and there's Zed making his demands. How do you feel about the architecture that's usually shown in the oh, hope though, no can. It's just mostly ruined cityscapes, isn't it? Yeah, you'd think, but then there's like other interesting It's like the stone towers that like the Or my personal favorite, oh, like the, the fucking ship out. that goes through the skyscraper. Oh yeah, that's classic. I wanna live but in that like, place. Like holy fuck, what happened? Well, you see, a bomb went off and Fuck the world. Oh, man. Oh, put two and two together, dog. A fucking nuke no. went off. Shit was gonna get flung. Yeah, but the fucking... The fucking... Oh, God, screamer. it's the old man from Crisis Young. Yeah. Oh, no, he's really getting into it with his twitching arm right there, too. He's like... Ugh. I'm in awe of the power of the PS1. All right, now, really you know, watch. He's, he's talking about the legend, you know? He's like, oh shit. Again. No, interestingly, I think this story, I think this, this scene happens at night, and they're having it in the daytime. But I can't remember too much. It was kind I of... Only... I think it's one of those things where it's just weirdly different adaption to adaption. Yeah. Because it's such a minor movie, detail. Yeah, in the movie, it's somewhere in the... It's like somewhere in the middle of the day, but it's kind of... In the in the in the show, it's closer at night, and the sky's kind of reddish. I think. No, yeah, no, it's in the daytime. It is, it is incorrect. Oh, also, Kenshi has this cool little cover. He also has a. He also has a block. Pretty neat. All these men in great shape. Damn right, Robo. And they're turned into goddamn fruit gushers. Just like Homestuck. That's right, I still like Homestuck. Fuck y'all. I don't think anyone cared to think to shit on you for that. I don't think anyone wants to shit on you for that. Oh no, I'm fucking up. Honestly, the thing I'm worried about admitting to liking is AEW. Because I follow a lot of people on Twitter who just fucking hate it. It's like, they have valid points, but at the same time, goddamn. It's like, I feel like if I say something positive about AEW, these people are going to come out of the woodworks to shiv me out behind the 7-Eleven. Oh no, this might be my first game. So, my shadow twin, Dark Elite Eric, says AEW's go. Yeah, they're great, but they also need to really do stuff like fixing the women's division. To kind of give it more airtime. Also, I'm really questioning why they would bring in Sting. Oh, I guess, uh, spoilers. Every man's worst night. Oh, shit, here we go. Damn it! You didn't press the last one, you dummy! 
boost. Dear God, let me hit it right. What do you mean I fucked it up? This is a nightmare. What the hell? Oh, it's not messing up. What the hell? What's the issue? I didn't press the right one, apparently. Okay. There it is. God, isn't that mini riffic cover of I Won't Tori Will to Say? I've always liked the, uh, the, uh, the instrumental version rather than the actual. Really shaking his ass right there. Anyways, I was trying to say, AEW is good, but they need to fix the women's division. And I really do not... Damn, I spoke over him. But there's the meme. No one ever remembers to get the Hidebu. Well, that was only because it was fucking Mr. Hart that did it. No, he did. He he said he debut in the. Uh, I guess I remember anime details more. He, he did that in the anime too. I guess I have bad memory, like I said I would. That's fine. And then there's Bat. It, no one cares. Anyways, no. Oh come on, you should care because he's appeared on our streams before. Oh yeah, fucking Dong Dong. Hey, yeah. Same for Lin. And it's because I think the fat guy in that game's name is Ken Shiro or something, too. Perhaps. Nah, nah, you can't be associated with him. Anyways, I was trying to say about AEW. Yeah. You fix the women's <laughs> division. Uh, stop having the bu- what? Play the Bucks a lot less. I love them, but come on, guys. And I don't think they should be letting Sting wrestle. Dude has spinal stenosis and he's 60. Wait, which Lupin VA? The one from the Gideon dub or the one uh, slash Pioneer or the fucking... Oh, it's the guy with the rice in his sack! Uh, and also, uh, or, the, or the one from Funimation. Gideon dub. Oh, sick. All right, so, uh... Here's, uh, here's... Oh, shit. Oh god, he felt like just like a beat him up character. That's correct. That's exactly correct. We've entered streets of rage territory. This guy's name is Spade, and I happen to think his design is pretty all right. But I might need a difference of opinion. What do you think? Uh, it's too Mad Max ish. He does look like that one of the one of the dudes from Rogue. Yeah, you're right. But I still like that. Like I know that's the main aesthetic, but it's like just too nothing to me. Have you ever seen any read it, read or watched any of the prequels for Fixed North Star? No. Uh, they they're written with the with the intention of the lore that's like from later on in the series. For the most part, um, Jaggies is the one I find. And then there's Route 10 Know How. Um, and uh, they, they do a pretty, depending on the art style, they do a pretty good job of like capturing the energy of like the Mad Max uh, inspired aesthetic of the of North Star, Fist of North Star's goons without going a little too overboard. But I have to say, Route, Route, uh, Legend, uh, Rao's prequel story and Joggy's, it's probably like my favorite artistic rendition of any of the goons from this series more so than the actual manga itself hmm. and anime i think that's more so because they don't have a very stern and serious look to them while also being so fucking goofy you know yeah. but uh that's just me oh shit there's the boy with the rice gotta keep him safe don't fuck up the quick time! Keep the rhythm, you turkey! Oh, that was just a cutscene. Yeah, it is. At least I think so. Fuck. Could be wrong. Yeah, what is the second so, thing? These basically have button combo setups. So, me and Robo ask, what's with the second meter? Does that do anything? Uh, that's for blocking. 
we guard break something. What? I pressed that correctly! Oh, yeah, I forgot, Miss. I think... I remember how this goes. In anime, it was better because he caught it between his uh, fingers and just twirled it back. Yeah, they can't really show that too much. So, I think that's the last we've ever seen of Spade. Is it? I'm not sure. Because he does scream just jobber to me. I don't know. He's got something going for him. He protected him. Holy shit, is that Chakurin? Have my Parkinson's medicine. Japanese Garfield voicing that old man? Don't interrupt my awesome Parkinson's joke. No! That's fucking terrible. He's a regular. Can you fucking. You're already here throwing that out. You're not acknowledging the. That man is voiced by Japanese. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about Japanese VAs outside of guys like fucking Akira, my, Akira Kamida and uh, Shigeru Chiba. That's fine. Don't I don't worry. actively seek out Japanese dub uh, dubs of American shows. That, dubs? Fuck you. Oh, that's not what I meant. But... It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And this man had the axe ready to start some shit. Unfortunately, uh, it did not go too well. I never did understand too much. We can't, we can't be able to recreate guns. We can't get a hold of guns too much, but we can have things like gasoline and. That never really clicked with me, but fuck it. Because guns will kind of be. No, that's not. Hard right. to. I mean, you could have shitty guns. That, that's that's a guarantee for sure. Yeah, maybe for a country like Japan, that'd be a little bit. I don't know. Granted, the things the thugs actually come up with. Oh shit! I can't believe Spade made that shot with one eye. Total MLG move. God, remember when MLG montages used to be a thing? I don't. But also, yeah, no, that. That was unfortunate for the old man. It is, it's especially rough in the anime when they slow down and Ken's like, holy shit, can I save him in time? And the answer is no. No, you couldn't. No. I appreciate that about a Kenshido. Uh, at least, at the very least, they'll have that thing where like, yeah, Kenshido's like the, sh the strongest guy in the entire show, but that doesn't mean he's be able to save everybody. Sometimes you just gotta say fuck them, kids. No, the, quite the opposite, it's like, I tried to save them kids. I really did. But I fucking couldn't. Ooh, excuse me. The soundtrack kind of sounds similar to the last one too. Just a bit. Specifically the character select screen anyway. He's jumping around. I'm gonna have to ask you that kindly. Oh, he's blocking now. I can juggle him just a little bit. Say goodnight, motherfucker. You got seven seconds. Oh, wait, no. My bad. Three seconds? Yeah, he has three seconds. Oh, yeah, he's going Yeah, I don't want to die. 
uh, even though I did horrible things to people. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, one of my favorite scenes <clears throat> in the story is when, uh, whenever they put a counter next to next to Ken after he like did an attack. That's from the original anime in the background. Sound. But yeah, no, the, the counter for whenever Kenshiro does a Hokuto Shinkan is intense shit. Especially if there's no music playing. Like when he does it at the club. That one's always fucking rough. No, not club. Fuck. Yeah, the one with the claws is named Club. I remember, I think, because he... I remember because, like, I think... Jack, the Ripper from World Heroes, rips off his design S ever so slightly, quote unquote. Oh, uh, you don't even get all your health back. Yeah, it's rough. I'm trying to remember how to do my special attacks. Oh shit! Shit, I fucked it up. Yeah, so all these punks have, like, this game has 200 lines for all of the punks to say. So the money really did go to the voice acting, huh? This is correct, but also... Oh, yeah. there's even subs that actually react you to You also it. get health back from that. And that just happens at random, right? No, when they flash. But you gotta time it just right. Ah, oh, shit. So do you just have a wake up tatsu? Yes, you do. Uh, not automatically. You have to trigger it on. Shit, I gotta time it. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to time it. Just there we go. Gotcha, bitch. Does that actually do splash that... damage, too? Yeah, it does. This game's got stuff. Too bad there's no scoring system or ranking system. I don't think this is the same place for that, either. Yeah, you can... Uh, no, who cares about Bat? I like Bat. He's fun. There's no reason to hate him. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> he doesn't fucking stall the plot like a shitty character in a, in a like a shitty kid in. Like Kenbo. No, Kenbo moves shit shit forward. If anything, you can consider Kenbo to be the prototype uh, bat. But, and besides, Kenbo got more useful. As Sanchido went on. Nah, you know that for a fact. Don't front. Yeah. And then there was that one episode where Bokeh got got his time to shine with the other dogs. God, couldn't I sound shit whip so much ass? <laughs> Bat, you found the quad damage. Fuck it, it doesn't look that much like. Wait, mm, never mind. <laughs> it kind of looks a lot like Quake. <laughs> shit, I yeah, this is Quake. Imagine the ranger just walks in and he's. <clears throat> I forgot what the ranger sounds are. Oh, <gasps> dude, imagine if the ranger pulled out the gun, but. <laughs> He's just like, what? What do you mean it doesn't work? I have a rocket launcher with quad damage! Souther just rides the fucking rocket launcher like da Dante, and he's like, what? That's bullshit! <laughs> oh, could you imagine Souther with a rocket jump? I think you mean Souther, or whatever. Alright, alright. No, no, let's save that for when we get to him. That won't be for a while. Which is funny because we won't be coming back to this for a while either. Isn't Incredible Crisis like super short? <sighs> some, the thing is some of the mini games really fuck you over like the one where you have to guess the weight. When we first did it I ended up cheating but I've as I've been testing it myself I found out that the weight is randomly changed and so are the items you get. 
But the thing is, you can so you can still like get the correct weight you need for the thing. But it's gonna be a bitch. So before we get to that, I need to really ace it on all the other. Oh, now I games. remember how to do that attack. This is kind of like a, a deflect. There we go. Now it's all coming back to me. There are certain characters you need to do, just like how you, how you did in the uh, you did in the original story. Too, I appreciate that. It's like how Kaneko and Muscle Grand Prix Two has. The correction medals, where if you do things a certain, if like if you recreate certain matches, you'll get like something. Yeah, Joder does that too, with the uh, part five and the part three, uh, at video game adaptations, which honestly, I always appreciated those details. It was gotcha, bitch. Also, Kenshiro has this cool like jump dodge. Let me, let me see if I can trigger it. There we go. Can't do any attacks during it, though, which is the only thing that sucks about it. It's kind of hard to gauge the distance because of the way the this, this scene is shot. I do like the environments. They are very... Oh, guess who's here? Uh, Shin? No, no. I mean, yes, but... Mm -hmm. This is kind of following the path of the manga a little bit more, actually. He, he, he gets to Shin pretty quickly. Well, Shin really doesn't get kicked in until he fights Jagi, right? Yeah, but here, here, here's who's here. Alright. It's the boy. You can't attack him with normal... Uh, Attacks, you have to use multi hits. That's him. Abdul the Butcher. It's also, uh. Fuck, who's an analog? That one really fat guy in God Hand. The oh, problem yeah, he... with not eating kids? Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting he eats kids. Canonically. No, he doesn't! <laughs> That's just a joke people use! He. <laughs> Did? Okay, the weird thing about Mr. Hart is that he's actually, like, he's a dick, but he's not that horrible. It's only when he loses blood, when he sees blood, that he's like, Ugh! Also, if I'm, if memory serves correct, didn't they try to start, like, a VTuber channel with him? Say that again? Didn't they try to start a VTuber channel with Mr. Hart for some reason? I don't remember that, but I would have watched that. I remember not, seeing something fair, about that. To be fair, there are other goons I like more than It's also worth mentioning that SNK tried to start uh, an, an Athena VTuber channel. This is I long before the current wave, also. Before all of the LP shit. Oh yeah, you want to see what happens if you try to attack Mr. Watch, watch. Oh no, you have uh, to have him stick out. That yeah, was the time. Uh, all the bosses all the bosses and goons uh become playable people to fight. Uh characters that you can fight with in the versus. Gotcha. I missed when games and, did that. Anyways, the timer just went off. But is Shin after right right next after this? I don't think so. We did skip a couple of goons actually. There he is. Work push the fat out of the way to get him. He's working him, he's working him. Uh, let's just go, we'll go a little longer than expected. Later, lard ass, you're already dead. Let's see how long it takes to get to Shin. You remember the dub for the Fist of the North Star movie? The original, not the live action one. Say your goodbyes, lard ass, because you're already dead. What's the name of uh, Uncle Phil's actor? Uh, James Avery? Yes, I think. Yeah, he, he was in that. Uh, he was one of the gang. He, he was one of the like, I think a member of the Kiba gang in the movie. 
kind of nice. This must have been also. This must have been during. <sighs> Damn it! I keep having jokes. I keep stuttering them out. Uh, okay. This must have been during his uh, time as a shredder. Yeah, yeah, it was. I like his voice as shredder. Just in case, not to pull a woolly. Yeah, speaking of which, apparently he's playing Maximum Impact right now. They're not even playing it. He's just going through all the references. Oh, wow, he is right there. Shin. Yep. Did you know James Avery's full name is James? James. James LaRue Avery. No, I can't say any of that. It's pretty neat. He's like, all right, so where's where's your where's Julia or Yuria, depending on which you, which one you think is better. He's like, there she is, Ken. Perfectly fine. She she looks pretty uh permanent there, doesn't she, Ken? Like nothing bad ever happened to her, Ken. Yeah, so they're just doing the backstory for... Weird, he's not wearing the outfit he originally wore when he fought Kenshiro Ushin, which is this weird green jacket that I kind of wish would be like... I wish that was like an alternate costume he got to wear and other stuff. Shin, <laughs> Shin also was not wearing that when he... Ah, damn revisionists. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is kind of the part comes in where it's like, yeah, this is budget. Kinda. Yeah, limited PS1 space. The limited PS1 space that couldn't be accoladed for all those VA voice lines. Oh, you know what it's time for, right, Prince? It's that stupid Air pit. Clash! And somehow that beats him out. I don't even understand quite what he did. Fuck it. They clashed, clearly. I know, but like, <laughs> that was a kick. How'd it get all his tendons? I could understand if it was a big slash right across his body. I remember specifically also several men hold that? him down while he stabs into him. That's precious rendering time. I mean, coding time. And he's the most the model. Hell, I love how they're hiding the hand because they obviously didn't render a finger for him. Or a chest for Ken. Because he doesn't have his shirt on when this happens. Either that or I think Shin tears the shirt off. He definitely tore his shirt off. Yeah, but like, guys are holding- You could have had the models jank shit holding them there. Stabbing him in place. I'm really surprised they didn't res- did what? They could have done that, but they didn't. Also, you hear how nice and crisp the voices are? Yeah, that's all that money they pissed away. Yeah, but isn't that kind of nice to hear after like, cause like, cause the anime, anime's audio for those voices are kind of, kind of not great at times, you know? Hmm. Cause you know, it's the 80s and also- Wow, he really know, sounds like Kinnika Man right there. He really does. But also like the episodes we've all seen that were like tried translated were not at least the ones I saw when I was a kid. They were not, uh, they, look, the transfers were not, I'm not gonna say they were garbage, but they were not, you know, they were not HD, Blu-ray, disc quality. Yeah, to get the HD stuff, you gotta go to Italy of all places, evidently. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, Actually, like, Italy is, Fist of the North Star is huge in Italy. Oh, shit. So huge that they got the anime movie uncut over there. Well, everywhere else it got censored to some extent. You know, what's really interesting, actually, uh, you can get the actual in English, uh, for, for, to, like, enjoy, but there's this, um, but I wonder, I wonder how that would have been for, like, no, sorry, I, I, never mind, I was just thinking about it, it's, it's just, what are you doing, the discotheque release? No, I meant, like, earlier before. 
uh, the manga UK dub that aired on Stars. No, not, as not I the dub, just kind of like English translations of the. Uh, the you can get an English sub version of of the of the anime on DVD, all of it, but you can't get yeah, the manga. At least until now. Yeah, it took them like fuck? what? Okay, actually no. This. How many times have they officially translated the manga? I know there was once in the late '80s when Viz was just starting out. Yeah. But was it the full thing? I don't know. I think Raijin Comics also okay, took yeah, a no, second. They they did, right. they did. I, I remember that. They, they took also a second step. bits and pieces of Fist of the Goose guy. That's whatever. This is now the third time we are getting it. And this time we actually might get the whole fucking thing. Shit, I fucked it Speaking up. Speaking of that, uh, this is really fucked because they made a post the other day saying happy birthday to Seiya from Saint Seiya. Bitch, when are y'all gonna translate the manga? Like, how are you gonna say good happy birthday to this character whose work you've barely supported over here? Didn't they translate the manga originally? <sighs> they probably did, but it was probably the whack. Oh yeah, Shonen, the, they did a Shonen Jump. Oh yeah, here's the game over screen. Oh, they, look, it's the Death Star that's right next to the big... Uh, do we know if any of these is save? Yeah, there's a, I know which one's the save one, but I just want to finish this fight up with Shin for Anyways, let me see. Did they ever translate the manga? Because I know they translated his night. Nice. Which, let's not talk about that version. No, no, no. The, the manga was also called Nice. Oh, so they did translate it at first. Okay, they I guess did. they did, but it was probably still with the whack. In fact, that's, that's what I thought you meant, and that you meant they hadn't translated the whole. But they have translated the manga at, in some form. The whole thing? I don't know. That's a good. That's a. That's a different, better question to ask. Let's see. Uh, started in 2004, got all the way through to uh, oh, everything shit. in 2010. I'm going to hopefully assume that they didn't use the shitty Knights of the Zodiac dub names. I don't think they did. They better not have. But as for all the other spinoffs and shit, I have no idea. Because I know gotcha, Netflix bitch. has some of the anime, and like, they're actually producing a brand new dub that's closer to the original. About time. Uh, there's also Good that night, weird CG series. Oh, wait, right, this. God, that was one of the coolest moments in the entire show. Wow, they actually textured the punches. Yeah, from when he actually fucked him up that bad. I remember showing this to my cousin for the first time. So nah, nah, let's save it for later. He's like, I can't believe you killed Yuria, you son of a bitch. You incurred my fury. Can't believe you're dead, Yuri. He's like, wait a minute, what the fuck? He's like, what the fuck? So yeah, this we all know this one. This is where it turns out that Yuri was a fake. The real Yuria killed herself a long time ago. <laughs> Ain't that a bummer? Dude, imagine if they had stuck with that ending. That would have been too depressing. With that idea for that, for, for that character. It's Did like, no, not? man. No, no, no. Later on, it's revealed she survived that. Uh, because she didn't actually fall all the way down. She was... No, they don't explain it. I think she was severely injured, but she survived... Uh, and heal and and managed to heal and she lived on later on, but she died of radiation poisoning. So it's like a it's monkey's paw. It's like yeah, she lives, but now you have to spend like her final days dying of radiation poisoning. 
So it's like, uh, mm, you know, she probably was better off just dying. So in the context of this, her, her plan was like, maybe if I kill myself, like, and give him enough of a shock to realize that it was never worth it to be a fucking horrible mo warmongering monster. I mean, it kind of worked. But holy fuck, bitch. She just couldn't keep waiting for Ken anymore. She just swan dives. Yeah, I showed that to my cousin for the first time when he saw it. He's like, what? What do you mean she just killed herself? He's like, she's been dead for days, bitch. Wait, days? It hasn't been that long even? No, he was literally only days away from... If he had been there quicker, he could have saved Yuri from jumping. Christ. You see what I mean by that? That would have been way too fucking dark. And, you know, for the longest time, you know, before it was retconned, we all just kind of, like, I, I mean, like, like everyone, not we all, but, like, it was just, like, something you, you just accepted as you went along the story. It's like, yeah, that just kind of happened, and the gets that brutal. You know, at first I didn't like it, but then, you know, I, I grew to be okay with it, because I was like, oh, you know, thank God they didn't decide to go that fucking depressing for this motherfucker. Ken already loses so much in this fucking story. All of his brothers... A good number of people who have meant a lot to him. Now it's time for him to take his swan dive. Yeah, oh my god. A lot of the South Star users seem to like doing swan dives. <laughs> like, that's their thing. That's the house style. Yeah, it really, it really fucking is. It's weird. It's like a part of the training, too, if you flashbacks. So it's like, all right, you got to get the dive right. All right, now, now, uh, fucking, uh, now on the count of three, you boys die. Ready? Ah, shit, one overshot the jump, overshot the jump pad. Well, he's a goner. Yep. Next time on. Oh, we actually hit the save? Yeah, it saves here, like, at the end, uh, it's like the, uh, treating it like the end of an explaining how memory cards work, but fuck it. Save city. This fucking menu border looks like a goddamn... Yeah. It should be in Why a would Digimon I say no? Game. Fuckers. Alright, I it. think we'll save it there. Alright. Well. Well, congratulations, 8. You've started your first game of the new generation. Yeah, close it, close it, close it. Now. End, end the game. End the, cut the stream. Anyways, we'll see you next week. I mean, no, we'll see you tomorrow for fucking uh, fighting games and shit. That's right, bitches. This is fun. All right. Love y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Yeah. Oh, God, I love the look on that guy's face.